Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I am Hashim Ali Khan. So far, four problems I have completed on final accounts, trading profit and loss account and balance sheet. Now in this video, two more problems I am going to explain, fifth and sixth. So if you want the complete knowledge on this topic, watch all the videos from beginning till end. Don't join in between and don't skip in the middle. Watch the video with full concentration. And while watching the video, I suggest you keep a notebook, calculator, pen beside you so that you can note down the important points which I am explaining. Otherwise, you will not remember. So before starting the fifth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Without problems, you cannot understand. And uh, take the screenshot of fifth and sixth problem, then I'll explain all the points in detail. Now, see the problem number five. Prepare trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 30th June 2020 and a balance sheet as on that date with the help of the following trial balance. So here only trial balance is given. The total of the trial balance is 11,12,000. And no adjustments are given. Even closing stock is also not given. Only trial balance items are given. So all the trial balance items will appear only once either in the trading account or in the profit and loss account or in the balance sheet. Now one by one I'll explain. First opening stock, trading account, debit side. Take a pencil and write it down on the work chair, this problem sheet only. So opening stock, trading account, debit side. Purchases, trading account, debit side. Wages, trading account, debit side. Sales return, it will be deducted from sales on the credit side of trading account. Salaries, profit and loss account, debit side. Rent, p &L account, debit side. Bad debts, p &L account, debit side. Stationery and printing, p &L account, debit side. Insurance, PL account debit side. Office expense, PL account debit side. Drawings will be deducted from capital on the liability side of balance sheet. Debtors, current asset, furniture, fixed asset. So we have seen the debit side. Now credit side, sales. Trading account, credit side. And purchase return, this will be deducted from purchases on the debit side of trading account. Interest received, it is other income. So profit and loss account, credit side, interest received. Credit or bills payable, both are current liabilities. Capital, liability side, that's all. So all the items, I explain you where it will come. Now, see the uh, solution here. Trading and profit and loss account of Dash, name not given, for the year ended 30th June 2020. Credit side sales 642,000. Sales are given. From sales, deduct the sales return. 20,000 sales return. Deduct, you will get 622,000. There is no closing stock. This is the first problem where closing stock is not given. So, no closing stock. Opening stock is given 1 lakh. Purchases are 4 lakh. And purchase returns are given 10,000. So, 4 lakh minus 10,000, 3 lakh 90,000 net purchases. Then wages are given 40,000. That's all. Now take the total on the credit side 6,22,000. From 6,22,000 minus 1 lakh minus 390 minus 40, you will get 92,000 as the gross profit carried down. So trading account over. Now bring that uh, brought down. This gross profit brought down to PL account. By gross profit brought down 92,000. The other income is only one interest received, that is 8,000. Now the expenses, all the other expenses, indirect expenses will debit. The expenses are salary 60,000, rent 30,000, bad debts 14,000, printing and stationery 16,000, insurance 24,000, office expense 20,000. In this problem, the debit side is more, that means expenses are more than income. Income is less. Previous all other problems what we have done, income was more, expenses was less. So there was a profit. But here we have a loss. 
because debit side total you are getting 164000 debit side total whereas credit side 92000 plus 8000 is 1 lakh to credit side only 1 lakh debit side 1 lakh 64000 so 164000 minus 92000 minus 8000 so there is a net loss of 64000 this is the first problem where we are getting net loss in all other problems we got net profit now this net loss as usual will be transferred to capital the net loss will be deducted when net profit was added so net loss will be deducted from capital that's all this is the end of trading profit and loss account balance sheet capital is given in the problem to lakh from capital we deduct the net loss 64,000 so 2 lakh minus 64 136 minus drawings drawings are also given as usual we are deducting drawings so 88,000 is the capital now current liabilities are 2 creditors and bills payable both we have taken asset side fixed asset only one fixed asset is given that is furniture and debtors current assets we have one debtors only one item debtors now take the total 40 plus 3 lakh 3 lakh 40 thousand if you add it add 88 thousand plus 240 plus 12 thousand you get 3 lakh 40 thousand balance sheet tallied that's all so this is the end of problem number five now I'm going to explain you problem number six from the following ledger balances prepare trading profit and loss account for the year ended 31st December 2018 so here trial balance is given debit items and credit items and below the trial balance closing stock is given this closing stock will appear twice trading account credit side and balance sheet asset side as usual now first item opening stock trading debit purchases trading debit sales trading credit wages trading debit carriage inward trading account debit side carriage outward profit and loss account debit side remember carriage inward is a direct cost direct expense so that's why carriage inward will be taken in the trading account whereas carriage outward is indirect expense that will be taken in the debit side of profit and loss account then sales return deduct from sales on credit side of trading account purchase return deduct from purchases on debit side of trading account salaries debit side PL account rent debit side PL account discount debit side PL account because Discount is given in the debit column. So that's why it is allowed. Discount allowed. Debit side. General expenses. PL account debit side. Last commission. But commission is given on the credit side. That means this is the commission received. It is income. In some problems commission will be given on debit side. Some problems commission will be given on the credit side. When commission is given on debit side. It means commission paid. That's an expense. Debit side. If commission is given on the credit column, it means commission received. It's an income. So this commission credit side 1800 is commission received. So profit and loss account credit side. That's all. All the items I have explained. Now see the format of trading profit and loss account here. Trading profit and loss account for the year ended 31st December 2018. Credit side, sales, 23,310 is the sales given. From sales, we deduct sales return. Sales return is 2,000. So 23,310 minus 2,000, 21,310. That is a net sales. Now closing stock is given below the trial balance, 9,000. Only two items, sales and closing stock. Debit side, opening stock, 2,000. Then purchases are 18,000. Purchase return are 1,000. So 18,000 minus 1,000, 17,000. Apart from that, wages are given, carriage inward is given. So wages and carriage inward. That's all. Take the total on the credit side, 21,310 plus 9,000, 30,310. From 30,310 minus 2,000, minus 17,000, minus 300, minus 100. 10,910. This is the gross profit carried down. So 
the purpose of making this trading account is to find out the gross profit now this gross profit will be carried over to profit and loss account so here profit and loss account by gross profit brought down 10,090 one other income is given that is commission received so commission received 1800 only two items on the credit side now all expenses we will take it on the debit side salaries rent discount general expense carriage outward so one two three four five five expenses are given all five expenses we have taken now take the total on the credit side 10,910 plus 1800 12,710 from 12,710 minus 2,400 minus 600 minus 60 minus 500 minus 150 9,000 rupees is the net profit and this net profit will be transferred to capital and net profit will be added to capital in the balance sheet now here the balance sheet capital in this problem capital is not at all given so put a dash the net profit we got 9000 add 9000 so outer column 9000 there are no current liabilities or any other liability given asset side we don't have any asset except one asset that is closing stock the closing stock is 9000 that closing stock I have taken the 9000 is on asset side 9000 is on liability side so balance sheet is tallied so we have completed two problems in this video that is problem number five and problem number six inshallah we will continue the next problem in the next video